how well does the product bind to the 3CL protease so that the protease cannot do its job anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the way to look at it. And then, um, and and the lower the number, the tighter the binding. So the the more difficult it is for the protease to get away. Gotcha. So they call it an IC50. So ivermectin actually has an IC50 as an IC50 of about 50, which is not very good. Not very good. Uh, but 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 people who say, hey, I may have had some benefit, they're not crazy. Okay. Now, uh, Tolivid Daily, which is our uh, you know lower strength daily version, right. is twenty. So ivermectin's at fifty, Tolivid Daily's at twenty. Our Tolivid is at two, somewhere ah. between two and five. Okay, so uh, ten to twenty-five times more powerful at doing that job than ivermectin. And then we've got our Tolivir, which is below one, is at point eight. So that's Ooh. over fifty times. Okay, and for comparison, um, Paxlovid is at 0.006. That's a chemical drug. That's Pfizer's drug. Okay, but the threshold of what you need to have success, you don't need all that from the Pfizer chemical drug. It's not required. You don't need that level of strength. You can overkill. Get it. It, well, I mean, it works. I'm not going to take anything away from them and all the work, work that they've done, but. You know, the biologically speaking, based on what we've seen, you don't need that level. You can get by with, you know, somewhere like south of five. And right. so, okay. and so as we, you know, as we build it out, that's the way to think about the strengths of the products.